Hi everyone, welcome back to my series on all the ciphers you need to know for code busters to ace your science olympiad competitions. And so the past two videos we did the Atbash and the Caesar cipher, and this time I thought we'd hit on something a little bit harder, and that is the Porta cipher. And so just some history on the Porta cipher, it was invented by someone called Giovanni Battista del Porta in the 16th uh, century. And it uses pairs of letters and a unique substitution method to encode and then decode messages. And so when you start off your test, you're given two sheets of notes. And on the second sheet of notes, I believe, you'll find this table right here. And this table is going to be your key uh, to solving the Porta cipher. So I think the best way to explain the Porta cipher is by doing one example. So what you see here is it says, decode this quote that was encoded using the Porta cipher and the key lost. And so what I did beforehand is that I wrote lost above each of the letters in the cipher key. Okay, this is not going to be given to you. You need to do this yourself. I just did this beforehand to save time, but I just wrote lost above each of the letters. Now you might be thinking, are all of the words four letters long and the last one just two letters long? No, that's not the case. When encrypting a Porta cipher, you get rid of the spaces and then you group your uh, letters in groups of however many letters the key has. So our key has four letters, which means all the letters are going to be in groups of four. If it has six, it's all going to be in groups of six. And so once we decrypt this and we get our final message, it is up to us to put in spaces to separate words however we seem fit. And don't worry, that's the easiest part there is. It's super simple. It'll make tons of sense. And so let's get started on solving this thing. And so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to take um, our key, the first letter in our key, we're going to find L. Okay. And we're going to find L on this column right here. And so we see pairs, right? And so we can see the pair of K and L. And then our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the letter right underneath, K, on this column right here. We found K. If we draw them both down, they intercept at the letter P. So that's going to be our first letter. Right? Now we're going to do the same thing for O. We're going to find O over here. O is right here. Now notice we have to find the letter S. In the top column right but the letter s isn't there and so what happens when the s is not on the top column because obviously these letters only go from a to m so what you might have noticed is that the letters in the box that means from here to here all go from n to z and that's for a reason so if your letter if the cipher uh letter is from a to m you can find it up at the top column. You can find where the two things intersect, and there you go. Now, if the cipher letter is from N to Z, you have to find where in this row is that cipher letter. And so we can see that our letter is S, and we can see S is right over here, and that means our plain text letter is going to be L. If that's a little confusing, I'll do a few more examples of that and I'll start to make more sense later on. Let's get rid of all this. Okay. So our next letter is going to be S. We're going to find S. S is right here. Then we have N right underneath it. And so once again, N is from N to Z. So we have to find N in this row. We see it right here. If we go up, our plain text letter is going to be E. Then we have the letter T. T is the same pair. We have to find W. So if we look in this row, w is right, w is right here. We go up, we get an A. <clears throat> okay. As so you keep going, next we have to find L again. L and A, we get an S. Y and uh, sorry, O and Y. So O and 
Y, we get an E. So please, that's prob that's probably going to be one word. A and S, we get an F. T and W, we get an A. L and N, we get an I. O and M, we get a T, O, M, down, T. Then we have S and S, we have an S here and an S here, J. A T and an L, we have a T here, an L here, U. So I'm gonna assume that word is gonna be, please wait just, um, and people usually say just a minute. So I'm just gonna try to speed things up, just a minute. Okay, and this is supposed to be double. Sorry about that. Okay, please wait just a minute. Keep going. Uh, o and a T. We have a T here. M. Please wait just a minute. S and a C. We have a Y. My. Please wait just a minute. My. I don't know what it could be. Uh, T, we have another T and a J, S, an L and a U, C, O and an O, H, S and an N, E, T and an Z, D. So I'm going to assume this word is schedule. T and R. I. L and A. L. A. S. Is. So please wait just a minute. My schedule is. Let's see what we have after that. <clears throat> we have O and V, O, V, B, so I'm just going to, it could be busy, S and N, okay, not busy, uh, E, T and R, I, L and I, Where's L, I, N? So being, probably being. Okay. Then we have S and V, M. T and W, T and W, A. L and V, D. So being made. So at the end, now we just have to figure out where to put the spaces. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's going to be, please wait just a minute. My schedule is being made. And let me just check the answer for that real quick, because I know I skipped a lot of um, work in there. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so um, if I were to create a steps list for this, my first step would be to write the key over the letters, right? My second step is to find the key, the, um, the letter of the key um, 
on the left hand side of the column. Find the letter in the key on the left column. The third would be to figure out whether the cipher text is from A to M or N to Z. Figure out if cipher text is from A to M, A to M, or N to Z, and then solve. It would just be solve. Okay. So that's it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, I think practice uh, making sure you remember that A to M or N to Z difference. So once again, if your cipher text is from A to M, you need to look up here and then find where it matches. If it's from N to Z, you need to find the letter in that row and then go up and figure out which uh, letter in the plain text it's supposed to be. I know I'm using these words cipher text and plain text. Plain text um, simply means um, what you're solving for, like the answer you get. So for example, in our case, this would be our plain text. And then these letters up here are going to be our cipher text. And then, you know, the letters on the top are a key. Okay. So, um, like usual, feel free to pause this uh, video right here and try this question by yourself. I th it's a little bit harder because our keyword is animal, which is uh, six letters long. And so, um, just to give you guys a hint, remember, you want to write animal over all of these, like so, animal, animal, right, and you keep writing it, um, keep going, and then you use your little, your little table over here uh, to solve. So I'll, I'll pause the video right here. I'll just keep writing animal down. And you guys feel free um, to solve it on your own. Okay, so hopefully you've paused the video and gotten a chance to solve this on your own. I'll tell you guys the answers. Um, so I'll write down all the letters and then we can sort them into words together. So we get S H E W A N T E D. We get A. Oh, okay. there's a lot. There's there's two more over there. Sorry about that. But ended beginning. Yeah, so it's going to be she wanted a pet platypus, but ended up getting a, it's not pet, a duck and um, a ferret. Wow, she's kind of lucky.
instead. Okay. So we have she wanted wanted a pet platypus but ended up getting a duck and a ferret. It's not how you spell ferret. Ferret instead. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully this video helped you guys out um, on understanding how to solve the border cipher. And thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.